Welcome to the Cardinal Chronicles recap of Session 15, Age of Ashes, Pathfinder 2nd Edition Adventure Path. Whether you're joining me on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Podbean, or wherever else you get your podcasts, thanks for joining me today and welcome to the channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you hear. The music, ambience, and sound effects you'll hear today are brought to you by Artlist.io. Be sure to check out their services, especially if you're a content creator like myself. If you sign up for a year-long subscription using my affiliate link down below, you get two free months on your year-long subscription, so 14 months for paying for 12, which is a better deal than I get. <laughs> Please understand, though, that going forward, uh, the specific details in the order of events may be altered for the purposes of telling a more epic story. However, the final outcomes will never be altered. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump into session 15. The party had just returned to camp from their successful operation to destroy the Violet Pillar in the Cinderclaw Mine. Still somewhat beat up, they had taken some time to patch up before heading to bed and resting for tomorrow's endeavors. Siri asks if anyone will stay up with her, and Rizor agrees her to help. Uh, let the brawlers get some sleep. The two of them share a peaceful shift, at least until the tail end of it, when Rizor detected something was off as the hairs on the back of his neck rose. Ah, fuck! screamed Rizor as a crossbow hit him square in the chest sinking two inches deep. As Siri went to cry for help, a bolt nearly took her breath away. Help! We're being attacked! We're being attacked! cried Siri. Bula and Dama woke up. Dama rushed over to wake Kaiser and step out of the tent to gather the situation at hand. As he did, he saw a Cheruka butcher charged out of the tree line. It hurled its trident right at him, piercing a solid three inches into his thigh. It was an ambush. Seconds later, the party could make out the attacking force. It was Hesla, the supervisor from the mine, with three of her butchers. To make the situation worse, the bolts that had been shot at Syrian Rizor were tipped with a virulent poison, wyvern poison to be exact, forcing the two of them to almost be out of the fight completely, as they had to use whatever means necessary to overcome the poor poison before it killed them outright. Rizor was in and out of consciousness, struggling against the poison, while Siri danced around a Charuka and healed Rizor to allow him to fight through the pain. Kaiser kept Hesla occupied in the distance, so she couldn't keep firing bolts at the party. Kaiser was... He's beginning to believe. As he dodged flaming sphere attacks over and over and over, and even managing to dodge a bomb that was thrown at the ground right next to him. Bulat and Dama separated the other two Charuka to ease the fight for Rizor and Siri. Dama was caught out of position after casting a vicious enervation spell as one of the Charuka pushed the trident deeper and then landed a few quick blows back to back to back, sending Dama to the ground. Kaiser quickly dashed over to heal Dama with his prayer beads, keeping Death's door away from Dama. Seeing that Bula had weakened one of the Charuka, Dama raised his hand and casted a fourth tier harm spell. The Charuka rolled a natural one on its save, nearly killing the creature. But this only angered the other Charuka as he ran towards Dama, who was still prone on the ground. Dama quickly drank a potion and then went to reach up his hand to cast another spell. But the Charuka knocked his hand out of the way as it ripped out the trident from Dama's leg. It came down on Dama, burying the trident in Dama's chest as blood shot from his mouth. Dama struggled, but the Charuka drove the trident deeper and deeper. And at the last moment, Dama reached up his hand 
and not even an inch away from the Truka's face. He smiled, blood spilling and leaking between his teeth. Ah, I still win. As he cast enervation once more. No one knows how Dahmer survived, but by some miracle, he had enough strength to heal himself. Bulat thought Dama was dead, which threw him into even more of a rage than he was already in. Dama was the key to unlock his hidden history, to find out who his parents were. Or are? Were they even alive? His fighting form tightened as he gave the Charukas openings, only so he could hit them harder and harder. After he took down the two Charuka, he turned to Dama. A sigh of relief, as he saw Dama was still somehow alive. But there was no time to celebrate. He had to run over and aid Kaiser with Hesla. Kaiser, who had been dealing with Hesla this entire time, was starting to grow a bit tired. But seeing Bulat come over to help him, gave him a much needed second wind. Hesla was agile and annoying. She went to fling her flaming sphere at Bulat, who was tired from sustaining so many blows as it knocked Bulat clean off his feet. Bulat, limping and bleeding, got just close enough to heal Bulat from a distance, bringing him back into the fight. Fatigued but inspired, Bulat went to swing at Hesla, but right before his punch had landed, a beam of water shot through Hesla's torso as Rizor had been waiting for the exact moment to strike. The jungle fell quiet. The only sound that could be heard was the crackling campfire. Dama, Bulat, Rizor, and Siri fell to their knees out of exhaustion. Siri began to weep out of shock, but at least it was finally over. That concludes the Cardinal Chronicles for session 15. I hope you enjoyed the retelling of that story as much as I enjoyed retelling it. <laughs> if you enjoyed the immersive sounds and music and ambience, be sure to check, once again, check out my affiliate link down below and save yourself some money, get yourself two free months on that annual subscription. Be sure to check out the Cardinal Adventures YouTube channel where we also review and discuss the lore of Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you already are a Cardinal, be sure to use that beak and smack that bell down below to make sure you're always caught up to date with our content upon release. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.